Hello everybody. Hi. Uh, welcome to my kitchen. I'm working at my own cereal bar with uh, some grain and honey, basically. And this time I'm trying uh, to make one out of oat. This is oat in a porridge-like consistency. And buckwheat, I just have it here, so I add something. And of course honey. And I'm not sure if I need some fat, but I will probably try it without. I always have the same problem, it's commercially available, it seems to be made everything with uh, palm oil and I don't like this stuff very much. So now I'm kind of milling the buckwheat. Let's see. Okay. Looks a bit like I did not record the milling. This is a demonstration about how I'm milling my stuff. It's more a press than a, a mill. I forgot to film the actual part when I made the stuff for the cookies. But for demonstration, here are buckwheat and some of the oats. Put in and turn. Not actually complicated. Stop turning, move it a little bit, start turning again. So, that's it. Anyway, this is the buckwheat and some of the, the oat mixed together in my press. And I put everything in here, give it a good slap of honey. Just a spoon. Then I will add a little bit of salt. I found out if you don't have salt in the whole thing, it does not taste well. Then first, a bit of water. Not too much, but some is needed. Try to get the honey off the spoon. Let's mix the whole thing a little bit and make it dissolve. That can't be bad. Then 
This is by the way a, a silver spoon and it has blackened a little bit, oxidized. But just in case you look are uh, looking very close. Just need some good cleaning again. Hmm. I guess there's still some honey on the spoon. I will use. Let's take care about this later. Then I put in the milled stuff. And the ones that I already bought in the broken state. Let's see. Might need a bit more water, that's what I expect it to need. Those cereals can actually absorb a lot of water. Oh, and just by the way, if you are not native English speaker, if you are one of my Swiss or German viewers, uh, oat means half, and the buckwheat that's Buchweizen. I'm not sure it's if it's essential to have some wheat or something, but I just had this buckwheat there and this should probably even make it kind of gluten free. It's not that I would need it, but I bought some of the buckwheat and so I happen to like that stuff. I don't know if it's suitable for any diet here. Surely it contains a lot of sugar from the honey. After all, honey is just most of it sugar. So I guess it's it's quite liquid now. Got a bit more liquid than I did actually expect it. Oops. Oh, that's not a problem. Time to wash my fingers a little bit. So now I have an idea. Something to try. Ouch. And hot down here. pen not even really used yet because it technically it will not be that much of a bar now more more like a, a cereal cupcake. some hot water before
and fill the stuff in if it's a bit too liquid. That should do the trick. Not too much, after all I want to have some portions. It will not expand for sure. There's nothing in it that could help with that. But it will give some nice cookies. So, looks quite reasonable, I'd say. Now my idea is I have no real plan about how long to bake them. I put my oven to the to the low to a low setting, and I will let it sit there for quite a long time because I don't need to bake them quite a lot, I more need to, to let them dry out, I guess. And I will check on a regular basis how it's going. So let's put the stuff in. Here we go. So, I put it up. It's uh, working with gas and I guess what's the setting one or two maybe yeah I set it one and a half about because it's really it's really hot with the gas in here so this is never the problem so then there will be a video, the last part of the video will be here when I'm done and I'll try the result. So it's about 10 minutes now. I will take, I want to take some temperature reading because this Oven does not have an idea how hot it is. Uh, 120, 130 degrees centigrade. 145 back there. 26 uh, around. Yeah. So we have we have it at 120, 130 degrees up there. Uh, I can calculate how much it is in Fahrenheit afterwards. Or you probably already know it, you are used to it. So, uh, about 15 minutes nearly, and I looked up an uh, official recipe by now. So, after all, you can just call those stuff uh, oat flake cookies, mostly. 
Uh, I give it a try, but I expect it to be still rather soft. Yeah, there is still a little bit sticking to the stick here. So, yeah, they don't have to be as hard as wood afterwards, that's not needed. I guess you can't go really wrong here. You could eat them without baking. I just dried them out a bit. But something I have researched right now too is uh, about the honey. I had it at 130 degrees about Celsius. Yeah. And if you want to keep the good, all the good properties of honey, you should not heat it to more than 40 degrees. So I had no actual chance to keep, keep it that way in this case, of course. I could have dried the cookies in the air more or less with some mild heating, but that's not what they actually wanted. And if you buy some cereal bars with honey, don't expect it to be very special just because they have honey in it. Honey has a great taste, but that's all that's left after heating it up that way. 40 degrees Celsius is the maximum because those are proteins good stuff in there and they will just be dead afterward. So I guess I give it another five or ten minutes and then we will see. So here I am again. I guess uh, the cookies have been in there for long enough now. 25 minutes at 130 degrees centigrade. It's the lowest setting setting I can get here. And, yeah, looks quite edible. Here we go, moving them over here. Oops. Let's try if they are coming out the quick way. Nope. I just let it sit there until it has cooled down a bit. So I'll check back later. So, here I'm back, after about 10 minutes, probably, roughly. Ah. Something I've been looking for for a long time. It, uh, the cookies are cool enough to touch them, but they don't look too willing to make it out of this cups, those cups, maybe the cupcake pan wasn't perfect. By the way, this is a very Swiss instrument. It's a raclette spatula for getting the key cheese out of the 
Rocklet pen pen not pen and it works for everything that should not be scratched and has some coating. Yes, the cookies are still quite soft. That's not a problem. I like it that way. But you could probably make them much drier. And then they here could keep them longer. Yeah, I guess I could have kept them in this oven for an hour or something without a problem. using them now, those poor cookies. Oh, they are still soft down here. But I give it a try. Hmm? Yeah, still very soft. Hmm. You have to chew a bit. But they are actually very tasty. It's just quite a mouthful. I eat this. But I have an idea. We have this machine here. Which is actually meant, meant for drying out mushrooms and stuff. I set this one up and give it several hours on top of this one. 
Here it is, set up on the most heat tolerant place I have in my house. And now it's time for a couple of hours, maybe overnight, we will see. Maybe someone, they, they end up really like a piece of wood, but a tasty piece of wood. So, let's see what happens. So, this is me again. I made another batch of this uh, oat buckwheat mix uh, because actually I'm still waiting for the other ones to come out of that cupcake pan and they refused by now or at least until now <laughs> that was my arrow so I made this other batch and have something different to place them on Cook is on and that's what I'm doing right now. So just as a general information, use something non-sticky. I guess this is the better, better spoon for it. Again, honey, water, buckwheat, oat squashed and mixed this time the mixture seems to be a bit drier but it can perfectly made into whatever you want it to look like whatever shape Try something comparably flat. With at least slightly uniform size. I would say for a cookie it's probably not the worst you can get if it comes to to healthiness but that does not mean it's not a sweet stuff so I did not do, did not any calculations but I would say it's always, if the stuff is sweet, it's probably not the most healthy thing. But you can go for a walk after you ate those or something. Move around a bit. At least I did not add any fat or oil or something, but the other hand there is so much sugar from the honey. Yeah, you get the point. But I had to talk about something while putting in the stuff. And this is just... just enough for the last one and even though the cookies from the other batch refuse to come out of the pan they are quite tasty I have to admit I ate another one now after they tried a bit more and they are doing quite well if it comes to taste just a look like a traffic accident when you got them out of the pan finally 
which is not so much a problem of a problem after you have eaten them. <laughs> so, here we go. I decided to put my furnace slightly higher. So, let's move over. Changing perspective. Oh yeah, and I have to start it to fire it up. It's one of those good old-fashioned ones. for it to get really hot. I guess I'll give it another five minutes to heat up and see you afterwards. So here I'm back. I did not wait for that long, but it should do. Now let's take the thing in. I use again the upper half. But I guess I'm going to set it slightly higher. Between two and three somewhere. And give it fifteen minutes to see. And I do not expect you to watch it for fifteen minutes. I did in some past videos, but today I will not. See you afterwards. So, they were in for nearly 15 minutes now. Let's do another temperature reading. The door is not so hot. It's hot enough. Exactly. So, what does it say up there on the cookies? 160. Ooh, just 115, 120. 148. 46, I'd say. 160 here. 152. I'd say 160 degrees centigrade round. So I guess I will pick one out and see if that works. Here we go. At least it looks nice. Can't deny that. So here we have it. Let it cool down for a second. Ah, down here you can see, still, still kind of soft. I guess I'll let it sit here for another time. No, I'll give it a try to taste it. Hmm, that's good. It's quite tasty. And I guess I should give it some time to cool down. But I will let the others in for another five minutes or so. Since they are not yet burnt, I can take another mm, 10 minutes, I'd say. So, see you afterwards. Okay. 
sounds like, like the computer thinks it's okay. Let's see. They changed. Yes, they definitely changed. I guess they are about hot enough now. Oops, yes. This is the other one, the one from before. And this is now 10 minutes later. Let's say I turn the heat down. This one is uh, quite tasty. It's still a bit soft inside. The other one needs a minute. Yeah, feels, feels quite, quite hard. This one is still squishy. Yeah, it's still, still movable. It's not hard as a rock. But that's not actually what I want it to be. Mostly hot, crunchy. And I guess I should not give them more heat. Now they are fine. I can turn it off and everything kind of hot here. What a surprise. Yes, those squishy silicone plates have their own quirks. Oops. So, here we go. Time to let it cool down. And then give it another try. But I think I got something edible and this one is not so sticky. This time it's not sticky as hell. So, the last one for today. What you need for those cookies are oat, whoops, oat, Buckwheat, honey, water, and I forgot some salt. What you get? A bunch of quite nice looking cookies and quite edible ones. Mm. To sum it up, I put the grain in my mill, squished it, mixed it together with a good spoon of honey, a little bit of salt and the water, place it in a non-sticking baking plate, put it in the oven at around 160 degrees Celsius and add it in there for 25 minutes. If you don't like them to be as dark as those here are, you can make them a bit less hot or a bit less time. 
For cooking it's always the best to be close to the things you are cooking and watch every then and when if it's still on track. And yes, that makes good cookies. And if you have the problem that they stick to the pan, yeah, you have the same problem as I had. The first batch is still in the dryer and I will see. I probably really let it dry until it's dry through and hope that the last few cookies will come out then. And then I will probably have some hard dry cookies, but I expect them to be tasty too. I will keep you posted on this channel about the result. So, that's it for the moment and thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye.